When my relatives talk about my work, they always ask, If I explain it to them in a technical way, they don't understand. So I just say, I test the speed of networks. In fact, I do more than just testing general network speed. I also test the network speed on high-speed trains. Next to high-speed railway tracks, there's a pole like this every 500 meters with base stations on top. 5G base stations are essentially the equipment that transmits 5G signals. When traveling on high-speed trains, people often have trouble with their internet connection. There are many reasons for these connection issues. First, high-speed trains are very fast. At such speeds, it only takes 2 to 3 seconds to go between two adjacent base stations, which means that your device has to switch its network connection every 2 or 3 seconds. Frequent switching can easily lead to network disconnection and low internet speeds. How can we solve this problem? By using the tried and true method of iterative testing. Since high-speed trains go past the base stations very quickly, Devices need to reconnect frequently. We've devised a way to form a logic cell with base stations within a few kilometers of each other. Now, when a train passes a base station, devices on this train do not need to reconnect to another base station. They only need to switch to another logic cell after going past the last one. As a result, the time between reconnections has been extended from 2 to 3 seconds to about 30 seconds. When traveling at high speeds, it is difficult to accurately receive the signal because of the Doppler effect. For example, the faster you run, the harder it is to catch things thrown to you. We analyzed the defects of high-speed movement and corrected the deviation. High-speed trains actually travel at different speeds throughout the journey. Based on the speed of the train, the self-adaptive matching pilot setting improves the demodulation performance. This is called differentiated pilot. Imagine a train sends you a message and then adds a string of numbers you both know to verify the information. When the train is traveling slowly, just the two numbers in the string are enough to know whether the message is accurately demodulated. As the speed of the train increases, you will need more numbers to confirm the accuracy of the demodulation. To span the signal to high-speed trains more accurately, we use algorithms to intelligently adjust the beam direction through multi-antenna beamforming to aim the beam at the high-speed train that is passing by. This is 5G multi-antenna with intelligent beam guidance. When high-speed trains pass through cities or densely populated areas, public and private network signals can interfere with each other. We need to help signals recognize users from respective networks and coordinate public and private networks. Users who are moving at high speeds are likely to be passengers on high-speed trains, so their use of private network resources will be prioritized. Users who move much more slowly are not likely to be on board a train. We will try to remove them from a private network for high-speed trains, or adjust the priority for the resources that they occupy. <laughs> I know my work is to provide passengers with better network experiences and to build a fully connected, intelligent world. With 5G connected high speed trains, we are speeding ahead on the fast track to a fully connected world. <laughs>